Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about regenerative medicine for hair loss, and I'm specifically going to get into pharmaceuticals. Uh, you know, some individuals are anti-big pharma. They don't want anything to do with pharmaceutical agents. Well, the bottom line is uh, these can be very good products. Now, uh, finasteride, uh, I started using it in hair loss in 1990, and I was using it as ProScar and breaking it into pieces and treating patients or giving them the whole ProScar tablet. And from the very beginning, uh, I didn't feel like it did such a great job. Um, and then uh, around the, the late 1990s, uh, Propecia was approved by the FDA, by Merck. Merck got a hold of it. And they started promoting it. And, of course, we had the risk of side effects, which were sexual dysfunction, uh, inability to have or maintain an erection, loss of sex drive, uh, and uh, breast enlargement. And then we ran into things like brain fog and depression. And uh, we, then there was another article came out that there was a very slight increased risk of high-grade prostate cancers. So this didn't necessarily make these products all that exciting. Um, what we did know about them, looking at the 10-year data, was that they would slow down hair loss. They didn't completely stop it, but they would slow it down. And it, but there'd be a gradual decline. What I didn't see was what I'd call a home run response. So uh, I was over in Italy, in Rome, helping a plastic surgeon get her practice moving. And uh, the pharmacy introduced uh, us to a topical finasteride. And, you know, my first thought was, well, this isn't going to do anything. And I, and I told him, I, I said, I don't think it'll work. But uh, he said, try it. So I started putting it on Italians, and these young Italians started growing hair better than I'd ever seen with finasteride in my entire life. Uh, I used to be a little wishy-washy on finasteride, meaning that, you know, it didn't really seem to grow that much hair, um, it, uh, and it had the risk of side effects. And so I, if somebody wanted it, I'd give it to them, uh, but I didn't push it very hard. Now, uh, having been in the hair restoration field for um, over 30 years, I see what happens if we don't do something to help you maintain your hair. So I don't think it's ever really acceptable to just do a hair transplant uh, because hair loss is a progressive situation. You have to do something else. And topical finasteride is a fantastic uh, product. In fact, I, co I consider it a thousand times better than the oral. You know, your blood concentrations are going to be much higher if you take the oral finasteride uh, than it will be if we use a topical finasteride. And we sometimes go up to as, many, as much as 25 times the dose on the topical finasteride. And, and that's what I've used. And I, I tolerate it really well without any side effects. But it didn't work all that great for me. Uh, it worked great for my son. And it worked great for a lot of my patients, patients who I thought were not candidates for hair transplants. I said, you got too much hair loss. You really shouldn't get a hair transplant. And then we put them on the topical finasteride, and they grew so much hair that I said, you know, the only problem you have from your, your, your uh, pharmaceutical response is you have lighter colored hair, and your hair is finer. So it's a little bit see-through, and the hair, you know, on the sides of your head, head is, is much better. So I said, let's do some graphs there. And so I added some color and diameter, and these turned into home runs. And Riley rips one, left field line, it is a home run! Uh, how long they'll stay home runs? I hope forever. But the topical finasteride is much, much better. Now, we do combine it with minoxidil. You have to have the gene to sulfate minoxidil or it will not work. So if you don't have that salt one gene, you can't sulfate minoxidil. And um, we also... Sometimes we'll combine it with uh, things like latanoprose, which is a PGF analog. We might combine it with citrazine, which is, you know, it's kind of an anti-inflammatory, but it's, it's used in uh, allergy medicine for allergic rhinitis uh, or, alert, you know, allergies. 
uh, and then we combine it sometimes uh, like spironolactone, and I've even combined it with dutasteride and uh, other uh, things like uh, zinc. So these are these are all pharmaceuticals that we can add to your care. And at some point in the near future, I'm also going to get into non-pharmaceutical supplements that are going to be very important for cell health. And we'll give you a whole list of things you need to be on, okay? Um, so this is a little bit about the pharmaceutical uh, pathway. You absolutely need to find something that works for you. For me, it was combining the TED, which is transepidermal delivery system, with dutasteride. That filled in my crown. I got much thicker back here. You know, it was getting super thin. My kids were taking pictures of it and sending it to me and uh, trying to, you know, pick it on me. Uh, but it, it helped me a lot. So, you know, I can't tell you what's going to work for you. Uh, all I can say is we can try various things until we find the right solution. I sometimes think of it as, uh, you know, like I'm in a dating service and I'm trying to find you a partner and I go through... I might show you 10 partners and you don't like any of them. And then I pull out the 11th and boom, it works. So um, find something that works for you and try to stay on it because it's going to help you maintain your hair and cut down on your need for future hair restoration surgery. It's very important for you. And you'll be glad you did. Four Hair is run by Dr. Cole with 30 years of few hair restoration experience, and we offer the most cutting-edge technology available. In fact, the Four Hair Enterprise sub-company Cole Instruments manufactures custom-made tools and automated tools for hair restoration physicians all over the world. Our quality, expertise, and skills are superior to other clinics. Our reputation and results are the best in the world. It's time to restore your hair, it's time to choose Four Hair. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the little bell button to get notifications of 4Hair's video uploads. For online consultation click on the link on the screen or in the video description. Four Hair is run by Dr. Cole with 30 years of few hair restoration experience, and we offer the most cutting-edge technology available. In fact, the Four Hair Enterprise sub-company Cole Instruments manufactures custom-made tools and automated tools for hair restoration physicians all over the world. Our quality, expertise, and skills are superior to other clinics. Our reputation and results are the best in the world. It's time to restore your hair, it's time to choose Four Hair. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the little bell button to get notifications of 4Hair's video uploads. For online consultation click on the link on the screen or in the video description.